Representative Shelley Short was appointed to the state Senate and you were selected by PCOs and county commissioners to take her place. What do you want folks back home in the 7th district to know about you? I'm, I'm humbled and honored to, to be able to represent the 7th district and I want to work hard for the district because everyone in the district works so hard for every dollar they get. My husband's out feeding cows right now in freezing rain before 7 a.m. So he's working hard, I'm here and I'm going to work hard. You are through the first week of the session and the 7th District's newest legislator and you've introduced your first bill. Talk about that. House Bill 2010 is addressing homelessness and wildfire areas. That's really important because unlike other parts of the state, when we have a wildfire or a natural disaster, we have hundreds of families without anywhere to go. They're in gymnasiums. They're, at any time, they can lose their home. We can lose whole communities. So this just allows the counties to use the money they already have available and addressing and preventing wildfires. And that is, that's half our homeless issue. So I really think that's important and we're looking to exec it today. So how did this bill come about? The counties came to me and said, listen, we have these funds, we can't use them. When we have these disasters, we're, we're restricted on how we help people. And, and they need assistance on allowing them to use the money they already have. And it's important to allow your local government to have that access, to allow your local government to make decisions for you. You took former Representative Short's place on the House Environment Committee, and there was a public hearing on another wildfire-related bill. What was that about? House Bill 1588. This came about because a couple was watching 33 homes in their neighborhood burn. They're literally watching the fire crest over it. They start clearing brush and, and they get fined because of GMA restrictions. So literally it makes sense to some people to allow a fire to burn so hot there will be no vegetation for a hundred years. But if they cut the bush or the tree and it survives, they'll have vegetation come back maybe even the next season. These bills are common sense bills in Olympia and we're working hard to make sure they get traction so you have your property rights and you have right to clear the land. You have a right to protect the land and protect your home.